I should probably just change this to the... Because... You already know where the fuck WrestleMania 30 was going? You thought I was stupid? Uh. So... If you've watched one of my rankings before, you know I have my chaotic categories. We've got show-stopping, no Danity Kane, entertaining but good, gold star for effort, I guess they tried, and they didn't even make an effort. And I feel like all of those categories are self-explanatory, and I do have my notes here because while I was watching the WrestleManias, I pre-ranked them for this video, so I wouldn't forget. So we're starting with WrestleMania 25. That main event was Triple H and Randy Orton. It was Triple H and Randy Orton for... And it's going entertaining but good, by the way. But it was Triple H and Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Now, it was... Triple H and Randy Orton did everything they do in a Triple H and Randy Orton match, whether fighting each other or separately, which is why it wasn't, like, show-stopping. It was just, it's nothing that I hadn't seen before. Was it entertaining as fuck? Absolutely, because I don't know if I remember this correctly. I don't know if this is the right WrestleMania, but I feel like this is a WrestleMania where I think Stephanie got involved. There was a spot with Stephanie where she got, like... I just remember having to run it back because Stephanie got put through a table or something. Stephanie got put through a table, RKO'd, got speared, and I was, I think my jaw immediately went to the, immediately went to the floor. I, I feel like I'm thinking about the wrong main event. No, I'm thinking about WrestleMania 38, not 25. Oh, WrestleMania main event that I cannot remember at this moment, but we'll get there. But that was the one I had to run it back. I would, I not the one I was thinking of, but it was it was entertaining. Regardless of what WrestleMania I was thinking of, this one was entertaining. Because it Randy Orton Triple H, they're really the GOATs for a reason. I wasn't disappointed. I just I was just confused. But not disappointed. Next we got WrestleMania 26, which I am putting in show-stopping, no Danity Kane. And initially, it was just going to be show-stopping, but then I started hearing the song by Danity Kane in my head. Which is why it became show-stopping, no Danity Kane. So, WrestleMania 26 is... <laughs> Shawn Michaels and Undertaker had no business making me cry, and it's I have a very controversial opinion, because as someone who is currently going back and watching WWF... And forming my own personal opinion on WWF, The Undertaker had his best matches with Shawn Michaels and nobody else. Because The Undertaker was not great. He wasn't perfect. He wasn't as great and as perfect as everybody made him out to be. He wasn't bad. But I feel like Shawn Michaels definitely brought the best out of him. Because Undertaker did have some misses, but Shawn Michaels definitely brought the best out of him as an opponent. And I just recently watched their casket match at the 98 Rumble. But the WrestleMania 26 match, I remember because I, I was deep into WWE. That was like when I was, they, they hooked me in. And I remember the buildup on Raw leading up to WrestleMania 26, and then I remember Shawn Michaels' retirement speech the following night on Raw. Like, I remember. I, I remember. But then to actually watch the match as an adult, why the fuck did they have me crying? They had no business having me cry in the club like that. A grown-ass man had me crying. Unheard of. I hate... They proved me wrong. They really proved me wrong that day. They proved me wrong that day. That match was incredible. In fucking credible. Like, hats off to them. Hats off to them. Then we got WrestleMania 27. And initially, I had ranked it in I Guess They Tried. 
But now that I'm remembering what that main event actually was, I'm just going to put it in they didn't even make an effort because I feel like that main event was very disrespectful and embarrassing both to John Cena and The Miz. I hated it. I feel like everybody else hated it if I hated it. If I hated it, everybody else definitely hated it. And I didn't need to be reminded about the existence of Alex Riley. Like, a jump scare warning would have been nice. That That's no disrespect to The Miz or John Cena. Full disrespect to Alex Riley, but no disrespect to The Miz or John Cena. Because, I mean, you gotta work with what you got. And it wasn't great. It wasn't perfect. It could have been so much better. And I'm sorry to both of them. Never to Alex Riley. I don't even know this man. I don't even... I just remember, like, there was a clip that went viral recently, or, like, last year, where he tried to do a return to wrestling, and he bought something so bad. Yeah. All right, then we got 28. Where did I put 28? I think, okay, so WrestleMania 28, I put gold star for effort simply because I really wanted John Cena to win. Even, like, what people don't realize is that when I look at the results to see what matches are happening on the match card, I'm not reading it as who beat who. I'm reading it as this person versus this person. Even though I explicitly see who wins... I'm not going to remember that shit while I'm watching the pay-per-view. Or at least watching the main event. So I was really sitting there watching it. Like John Cena was going to win. And I was really rooting for John Cena. But The Rock had to come in and ruin everything. The Rock had to come in and ruin everything. Because it was so good up until The Rock getting the three count. Like I just, I feel like that... Now I'm kind of like mixed because it does, it's like borderline gold star for effort. I guess they tried, but I definitely, nah, it's going to stay in gold star for effort because it just, for a once in a lifetime match, it did pop off. For that to be John Cena's and The Rock's first encounter in the ring, it did kind of pop off. So it was entertaining. Was it good? No. Did they try their best? Absolutely. So they they both got a gold star for effort. And kind of like segueing into WrestleMania. What is that? WrestleMania? I, fuck. 25, 26, 27. They do everything in Roman numerals. I can't read. I can't read. So that was 28? 25, 26, 27, 28. 29. 29. I ranked 29 a little higher, entertaining, but good. Because this this is my opinion. I know everybody was shitting on the fact that John, they did... Everybody was shitting on the fact that they marketed John Cena and The Rock as a once-in-a-lifetime main event. It was never going to happen again just for it to be back-to-back WrestleMania main events. But here is the kicker. In retrospect... It still was a once in a lifetime main event because we got John Cena and The Rock for the very first time. And even though it happened back to back, that was a once in a lifetime back to back main event because have we ever seen John Cena and The Rock main event WrestleMania since? I also hate that there's a point in the posters where you just don't see John Cena advertised on them much anymore and i hate it yeah no wrestlemania 29 was a lot better than wrestlemania 28 in my opinion because the right man won the mat i feel like the if i'm being honest the 28 main event was lazy they were lazy like john cena brought his all but Dwayne was lazy but then that 29 that's that's when they brought it back 29, they ran that back properly. Twenty WrestleMania 29 is the main event that WrestleMania 28 thought it was. I should probably just change this to the...
because you already know where the fuck WrestleMania 30 was going. You thought I was stupid. I may not know a lot of things about the WWE lore in like 2014 to 2016, the first half of 2016. I may not know. I may not know a lot of the lore, but I'm not stupid. I know about the that WrestleMania 30 main event. I'm not stupid. I'm not fucking stupid. I definitely cried when Daniel Bryan got that three count. When he got that pin, I definitely. No, no. I think that. (sighs) What you say? That you only meant when. Cause you did mm, what you say mm, That it's all for the best Cause it is That's one that's a main event that you hold on to. That that's that's a main that's a main event that you right here. I'm ahead of myself here when I say this, but something about Brock Lesnar and WrestleMania in New Orleans. He loves disappointing people every time WrestleMania is in New Orleans. If you catch my drift. What you say? Oh, that you only meant well, well, cause you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for the best, cause it is. Next, we got WrestleMania 31. And I, I really, I really wanted to rank it high because it happened locally. I, I really, I really, I really, I really wanted to. I, I really wanted to. There were so many justifications as to why WrestleMania 31 main event could have been ranked higher. The fact that it happened up the freeway from me down uh, down in Santa Clara. The fact that Seth Rollins did the heist of the century. That didn't save it. That did not save it. I That didn't save it for me. I hear good things about the event as a whole. Which I will give it the benefit of the doubt for the event as a whole, but the main event. What you say? Seth Rollins, like the heist of the century, it's iconic. It's one of my favorite moments, much like everybody else. I might as well delete this I guess they tried category, but I mean, like, we'll, we'll see. No, I can't, because that is spo- there, there is a match in here where it's like, I guess they tried. Never mind. Uh. Now, I don't know if this next one is controversial or not. I don't know if what I'm about to do, and I don't know if what if, if what I'm about to do is controversial or not. I I don't know how many people feel about this specific WrestleMania. I have not seen the reception. I have not read the reception to this WrestleMania. But this next choice... It didn't make me cry, but it was actually a top-tier main event, in my opinion. It did not make me cry. But hear me out. This is the WrestleMania I was thinking of when I was talking about WrestleMania 25 because I had to run back that moment with Stephanie. And if you go back and listen to the episode, you will know I did not want to watch Triple H and Roman Reigns fight. I did not. I did not want to watch that match. I sat up there and I was like, fuck this. I don't want to sit up here and watch these two fight just for them to pop the fuck off. Let him I was, you know what?
I don't know if that cho- I don't know if that choice was controversial, but honestly, it di- it didn't make me cry. But it was up there. It was up there in terms of my favorite main events. I hope I didn't piss people off because I don't really know how people feel about WrestleMania 32. I never see anybody talk about WrestleMania 32. But if I have to put my opinion out there, I would say that the main event was top tier. I don't care. WrestleMania 33. This was the WrestleMania... So I got back into WWE the year that WrestleMania 32 happened. So WrestleMania 33 was the buildup I was catching up on. You would think I would put that shit and they didn't even make an effort, but I mean, Undertaker and Roman Reigns, they tried. They they absolutely, they, it was bad, but it wasn't like unwatchable. And you know, they, they tried, they tried, they, I mean, As fucked up as what I'm about to say is, nobody can say that they were Nikki Bella and John Cena on the night of WrestleMania 33. I'm going to hell. WrestleMania 34. Overall, as a show, it was, I actually have a sense of, over it was it was a terrible main event but overall WrestleMania 34 I have a sentimental connection to because it was connected to my 21st birthday so literally I got a sentimental connection to WrestleMania 34 but that main event was terrible I was so disappointed this is like like 2009 Randy Orton and what year did Wrestlemania uh, 34 happen? Hold on. 2009 Randy Orton, 2018 Brock Lesnar, who was the real villain? But that main event was so bad. Like As much sentimental value I hold to Wrestlemania 34 <laughs> WrestleMania 35. You know what the fuck went down at WrestleMania 35? I have the Funko Pop. I have the Funko Pop. I have Miss Becky two belts as a Funko Pop. So you know damn well how I feel about the WrestleMania 35 main event. You know. Now, that one actually made me cry. No, that that one actually made me cry. Because that that is how Becky Lynch became my favorite. When she went out there and was like, I am the man. When she was out there doing all this shit, that's how she became my favorite. Like, the reverse Kill Bill gear will ever go down is one of my favorite wrestling gears in history. Like, come on now. And Kofi Mania, like, that was honestly the best WrestleMania. That was one of the best WrestleManias, WrestleMania 35. So, overall, that was, like, top tier. And it initially, it went into entertaining but good. But now that I think about it, top tier. Then we got WrestleMania 36 that happened. Now, like I said, like I said, when I did this... I only, um, when I did this, I only made it to WrestleMania 35. I did not go to WrestleMania 36, onward. So, I'm just gonna look up the results of those to see what I can remember. WrestleMania 36. I am going to give them a gold star for effort because WrestleMania 36 happened when we went into lockdown. So it was, it was going to be bad. It was going to be a bad main event. It was just going to be terrible. But 
for what they, the cards that everybody was dealt when it, they went into lockdown, I'll give them that. I will give them that. I don't remember Drew McIntyre fighting Big Show, though. So I, that main event was the Undertaker's Boneyard match. And Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar for the title. I feel like Drew McIntyre's win in front of a crowd would have popped off a little more. But we were all locked in our houses. Then 37. What was 37? So we had Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. And then we had Roman Reigns, Edge, and Daniel Bryan. I'm going to put that in... (sighs) It was a split main event, so this is hard. Because I want to put Roman, Edge, and Daniel Bryan in entertaining but good. But I want to put Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks in probably made me cry. Because they did make me cry. There was the first... There were the two... First ever black women to main event, a main event WrestleMania for a championship. So obviously it's gonna make me cry. So I, I, it's gonna go and probably made me cry only because of Bianca and Sasha. But know that Edge, Roman, and Daniel Bryan was an entertaining but good. Cause didn't Brock Lesnar show up after everything? That's why I was like entertaining but good. And then we had 38, or, no, yes, 38, 38, 38. Obviously, Brock and Roman. Okay, WrestleMania 38, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna give them a gold star for effort, because Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin saved them. Because if, if it was simply based off of Brock and Roman alone, they would have gone in, I guess they tried. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens saved Brock and Roman, so they should be grateful. And then last but not least, we got WrestleMania 39. Both nights. That was a top-tier WrestleMania. Like, 35 and 39 are like this to me. I don't care if you were upset that Cody lost. There was no way Cody Rhodes was winning. It made no sense for Cody Rhodes to win the title at WrestleMania like you just expected it because he won the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I said it. Who cares? But these are my rankings of the WrestleMania main events. I hope you enjoyed them. If you agree, if you disagree, leave it in the comments. I probably won't read it. I po- probably will, probably won't. Um, if you disagree, I advise you to start your own podcast and channel and share your opinion. Because I'm not here to agree or disagree. I'm here to vibe. Enjoy. Thank you, guys.